high school, I cheered and I played softball, and in college, I cheered. And so when it came to, to sports and stuff that I, I played but growing up, uh, in junior high, I played everything from did track, did football, uh, definitely basketball. I mean, basketball is my, my pretty much my true love, my first love type thing when it comes to sports. But in high school, I dedicated a lot of time just to basketball. And then finally, my twin brother Heath and I, our senior year, went out for track. And it's one of those things where you, when you look back, you um, regret not taking in uh, running track or doing multiple sports throughout your, your four years because you're only given this time once. So you might as well enjoy it while you're, uh, while you're there. I think the biggest milestone I had to overcome in making me who I am today is just deciding and realizing that I'm the only one who can choose who I am. And no matter you know what other people say or what other people do, I am me because I choose to be who I am. So I moved here seven years ago, and the first year we only won seven games. But you could see right away that you had girls who were buying into the system. They like playing defense. Um, and even with just seven wins, you, you saw where with putting the time in the summer and, and improving, you had something there. And the next year we took and went from seven wins to 25 wins. And then the following year was our, our, our nice run to the, uh, the final four where we got third and ended up uh, setting a school record with 30 wins. So some of the hardships was just uh, you know getting kids to believe in, in you as a coach and your system and knowing that you, know, you might have a down year or two, but good things are, will be coming later on. And that's kind of with anything, even in life and everything too.